Okay. Good afternoon. What is today? Tuesday? Alright. Today we are going to uh, make a Myself. Why turn you down? Good afternoon. So today's plan, we're going to remake the Vengeance frigate from Empire at War, Forces of Corruption, make a new modern version. with a bit of our own style and twist. And then we're gonna make, or finish making a bigger -er cruisery version. The Vengeance Frigate, um, is a pretty cool unit from the original Empire at War Forces of Corruption expansion pack. It was um, a little ship, well, kind of a medium small ship, um, but packed a lot of firepower, it didn't have a shield, and it had a cloaking device, which was kind of interesting, and it had these mass drivers which could penetrate shields, which was a unique feature. It was a fun ship to play around with, um, it belonged to the Zahn Consortium faction, which was, I think, objectively overpowered faction, considerably. So, anyway, uh, the original model is really low poly, low detail, because it's from a game from 2002 or whatever. So we're going to make a modern, updated version of this ship. Uh, for the remake mod and we're gonna texture it UV and texture it as well we might not have time to get to that today but we'll certainly make good progress on the mesh at least and uh, yeah we'll see where we go I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet whether I'm just going to take the base model well rebuild the the base design from Empire at War and then just update it and add a little few things, make a few little changes, increase some polygons, add some details, or whether I'm gonna rebuild the whole thing up um, in a different vision, not sure yet. There's been several different ones made by the community over the years, um, some of which I like better than others, some make more or less drastic changes to the original design. But the ship was originally designed for Empire at War game, the expansion pack, Forces of Corruption. Uh, so the only real canon example of the ship is what we have in game. Which it's a fine looking ship. I, I don't think it needs um, too much of a drastic change in design language. It's got a really neat profile and uh, some really neat design features I like, like the uh, large antenna fins that stick up off the side those are really neat um, it's kind of vertical profile with those thick wings is pretty cool so we'll probably not mess with the, the overall shape too much although for the bigger -er version if we get to that and end up doing that uh, we can make some more drastic changes since that's kind of like a whole nother ship it's just based on this one but is in fact a separate class. So we'll see where the winds take us. As I said, I'm not really sure. I don't have a, a vision in mind at the moment, but we'll see what we end up with. So we're gonna grab the original here. And have a look at that. Oh yes. It's a pretty solid mesh. Of course, it was made by 
uh, game studio. But very simple. Not really a lot going on. The texture that they gave it adds a lot more detail. Um, it's a it's a fairly busy texture, but it's got some good features like these um, ventilation areas. Uh, you've got some grills down here. Those are really neat. We might be able to work that in. I do like my grills. You're having steak for lunch. Good. Then we have another unfinished Very good. Okay. So these are kind of our three three ships here. We've got the original. We've got the current version of the vengeance not to scale uh, that the remake mod uses and then um, we have a unfinished version of the revengeance which is an upscaled or larger sister ship class It's all triangulated, which gives me the hertz, but um, we might be able to work something off of this as well. I like the direction this is going as well, so we can definitely work with that, make some modifications. Let's think about what we want to do. Let's scale this down. So realistic, or ideally, that will be the largest. This we're not using. We might use parts from it. But we're going to build something from the ground up. This could be um, very much a...
a uh, like a hero ship, a modified version belonging to someone. I'll scale this up a bit. Because these are generally supposed to be about the same size. Give or take something about like so. And then this would be significantly bigger. Okay, um, let's throw something in for scale. I have a file here somewhere. It's got a bunch of stuff in it that we could use for scaling. Um, mm -mm -mm. If I can find it. At some point in the near future as well, we are going to uh, work on this. This is the last hut ship to do. I'll see if I can squeeze it into three textures. But that's a project for another day soon. Maybe even this week. We'll see where we get on the Vengeance. The Vengeance stuff might take a the rest of the week, but, but the hut ship is certainly pretty high on the list of things to do. But we were looking for some scale stuff. We don't need any of these things. Um, don't need that. All right, so we got kind of a Star Destroyer and a Corvette. I don't really need that. Well, no. So ideally, We want to, so we're, we're plugging holes, as it's been put, in the um, underworld unit roster. They lack larger ships with staying power and punch. Um, using a lot of smaller things, which is fine and I think realistic as well to use a bunch of smaller stuff as they're the underworld. They're going to... Um, they can easily afford to pick up all the smaller ships, much like the Rebellion, you know. The, the Empire can afford to build these big giant ships because they've got all these giant shipyards everywhere and the materials to do so. The industry and infrastructure, whereas the Underworld and the Rebellion need to rely on smaller ships that they can purchase and modify as opposed to having big ones designed and built just for them. Okay, so actually this might be a decent size for it, just in general, just where we kind of randomly ended up. We don't want it to be too giant and massive, but we want it to be a significant presence. Um, what were we saying with this? We wanted it to be about... As wide as a Star Destroyer is long. Okay. So 
So we'll get to the designing here as soon as we get this administrative stuff figured out. That's roughly where it needs to be. Big boy. Okay. One of these things that I need to do one of these days, probably sooner than later, is collect all my greebles from all my various files and put them into one that I can just import into new project files. So I don't have to go around grabbing or remaking things. But and then just make, make new greebles. That's always fun. It's also something I can give to people on Patreon. Okay, um, let's actually look into doing that real quick. Scribbles, scribbles, scribbles. Uh, let's start. Over here. remake what we need. Without too much trouble. Okay, let's get let's get started. Let's do it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna remake the OG Vengeance from the ground up. feels better than just modifying. Like, there's aren't really any super valid reasons not to modify. Well, other than it's all been cleaned and and optimized, but vaguely, actually. 
actually. Hmm. You know, for being professionally developed, this is not the cleanest mesh that I've ever seen. Which is a curious thing. Hmm. Ours will be superior. Alright, so we're going to have a nice... Nice long... Tower that comes down. We want to make it all one shape. Um... interesting thing. It's a wedge, but it's got a section in the middle where it starts to bend back. So we can emulate that like this. We have that flat front, which I like. Come down to now I'm going to stick pretty close to the original um, design. I think it's a fine looking ship. I don't think it needs to be messed with too much in terms of its overall design language. We're just gonna give it more detail. We might play around with the proportions just a little bit. But mostly just up, up detailing it. Words. So we're gonna bring things down. So we're just going to basically copy the central hall and then make some adjustments from there and start making our own changes. And the rest of the ship we're going to just make by hand. But I want a piece to work off of. That is about right. Okay. It's such a bold shape. I like it a lot. Smoothing groups, S3DS Max likes to apply them to things. The default cube doesn't come with smoothing groups, does it? It does. What the fuck? Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I've just been an idiot. 
all these years. Okay. Um, You think you'll try to stop cleaning your digital art with clean line art? Make the figure readable naturally, but not overly clean the lines up. You think people prefer my traditional work because it's a little rough? Um, I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, I don't know. It'd really be like a piece by piece thing for me. I think some pieces are gonna look good with lines, and uh, some pieces are gonna look better without them. But they can hold you back. But they can also be liberating. Eh. I would say. You know, it's, it's good to change up and try new things, but I wouldn't abandon any one thing, at least, you know, permanently. You could go for a while without it, but I wouldn't give up on it entirely. 
Okay, let's make our wing sections here. So there's a a popular design that a lot of people like to put in their in their renditions of the vengeance. I'm not sure where it originated from, but I've seen it on multiple different people's versions, which is like this shape here. Uh, some people have like like a grill in there. Um, some people have it blank, but it's it's a very popular. feature um, and I'm not sure where it originated from like here we have I believe this is Dalnik's work see he's got that shape going on as well although his protrude much farther out.
Then you have this one, which also has this feature. It's very strange. I wonder if I can find original um, concept art. Hmm. If such a thing exists. I'm sure it exists somewhere, but maybe not for the public eye. And then there's the Yuzenvang at War version, which I made. which is very close to the base model as well, the original model. Um, but modified a little bit. Anyway. Um, We're gonna keep the big cannons on the sides as well, although uh, we might make them so they don't rotate or make non-rotating versions. They don't really need to do that. And it's kind of a weird thing anyway. There's, there's not really a lot of point to having a rotating barrel um, unless you have cooling problems on it. And the fire rate on these isn't significant enough to really warrant that. Plus they're mass drivers, which should use, what, linear accelerators or something? Um, and not conventional um, propellant-based projectiles. Star Wars is a weird thing. Oh boy, this post on Twitter. I have a theory that people living in Latin America cannot see the impact of whitewashing because they are not experienced, because they have not experienced racism from a white American person firsthand as to someone who's of color and agree up in the US knows firsthand how bad whitewashing can be. Racism exists everywhere. It's not an American problem, it's a human problem. One born of natural conditions that we have to overcome, or that we're trying to overcome. You, you, concept art, well, I don't know if this came in at exactly the right time, but supposedly this is the concept art, which basically is exactly what we got in game. So not much we can work off there, except they have some cannons. It's like, well, this looks like a 3D render, right? So they 
they probably, if this was the concept art, they probably just said, eh, use the, use the model you made for the concept. Sure. Okay. Um, now we can do, we can go one of two directions here. We can make it a bit more like the bigger version that we're going to do later so that they tie together nicely. Or, or we can keep the kind of original hall profile where the wings, where this hall sections kind of jut out. I think we'll keep the original, that's fine. Although we can always make another version if we want. But I do think we're gonna change um, the shape on this a bit. Have a little bit more of an industrial look. So let's scale this down a bit. We can have a, uh, a thicker version, a thicker section in the back, and then it can thin out as it goes forward. That might be nice. We'll see. We will keep our scale. Okay, and then this. Here. So we can do something kind of like that, perhaps. If you want the static triple guns, you can see this have a small, minor version of the aggressor's red plasma bomb. Just make Then our gun housing. We're gonna keep the guns, but we're not gonna make them rotate. There's no need for that. I want the gun housings to be relatively the same size though. That's a good bit. We're gonna change their shape just a bit. Interesting interaction. 
I also like the little tails that come out, so we're going to keep that in some degree. We can just do something like this. Once we get to the detailing, things are going to come really alive. But I do like... that shape interaction. For now, we're just roughing out our basic shapes. And I want this piece. Let's uh, grab you. Now I can make these wings on the side stick out farther like this if I want. Um, that will tie them in a bit better with the big siege version that'll come later. Because it's got the wide wings. But the wider we make the wings, the less impact the vertical profile has. So we want to be careful. With how we approach that. Okay. if we end up wanting to make any changes. I think we need a more aggressive angle. This. I could just make this into a instance. Set the X form on everything. Boop, boop. Convert everything back to a poly. I might as well save while I'm doing stuff here. Uh, take me to here, and then take me to here. Okay, let's make this narrower as well. Let's see where we end up. Okay, let's take this and let's do a bit of a chamfer. Then, I think we want to take this, and we're going to move you up to here. Okay. OK. 
Hat. Now I could do a couple things here. Let's make a copy of this real quick. Idea number one. and like a chamfer. That. And then this polygon here. Go there. Fancy. I don't know if I like that move that up and then have it go into there. I think I will downscale the uh, weapon emplacements a little bit well. There's no need for them to be so big. So if your gun is, is that big, it might as well be overpowered. No guns are that big. Well. Um, I could instead maybe chamfer the back end. Something like that. And then this sits like so. Then make a copy of this, copies of things and copies of things in case I want to make changes. What we'll do is we'll divide this up by like that is fine. And then we can go connect, that's fine. Connect, that's fine. Delete, delete. Delete, that way we keep a vaguely similar step down. We keep the idea of getting smaller as we go towards the rear of the ship. Our execution is different though. So we do something like that, and then what we can do 
Since these are basically accelerators of some kind, we could put in a motif, a detail that will look like coils or something. Actually, speaking of, give me a cylinder. Um, less of that, and let's go 16 of that, less of that. We're still just roughing things out. We'll redefine and reshape as we need later. And scale this like so, and then scale it. Like so. We could put like a trench in here and then a bunch of these things, and then we can Give them a nice, like, metallic copper color. Um, when we go to texture them, which will contrast really nicely with the kind of tan hall. And it'll catch the glint of lighting and look really fantastic, I think. But this is just a, this is just a placeholder for the idea, so I don't forget something kind of like this, although um, I think what we would do is scale it down a little bit, make it a little narrower like so, and then they would like sit in some, some kind of trench. You wouldn't see the whole thing. They would kind of go down into the shadows, but there would be something for them to be in. And then we'd have some kind of detail on the back end here. Again, just placeholder stuff. So I work very visually in that um, I like to work off of design language and shapes rather than having a specific concrete vision and then making that. I like to tweak things, mess around, and then work from that. Give me my camera back, please. Thank you. Now. Um, I really like this flat edge along the back. I think that's, that's aesthetically pleasing. This really sharp flat edge gives the profile something neat to work with. And I'm not sure how much I can get away with in terms of the detailing in the back and disrupting this shape. So I might do something like have an inset in here and then push all the details inside so you get a really flat edge. I might have some, some stuff poking out just ever so slightly like that. But that way you still got that nice flat edge. Yeah, yeah words. Okay, then um, back to this, what we could do, what we could do, something like this, perhaps. And we could, is this, I don't know if this, this is not aligned. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to align this on the Z. This is not also also not aligned. So what I want to do is align that on the Z. Now it doesn't have to be aligned and perfectly balanced.
but I don't see why why not. Okay, then what we'll do is we'll take these polygons here and bring it down and bring it up. See if we like that. Not convinced with with that look. Not convinced. We can pull these back a bit and see where we are. See if we like something like this better. No, not convinced. We may return. Oh, fuck me. Uh, redo. We may return to this idea in the future. And still, this general shape is um, up in the air whether we want to keep it as well. Because there's other things we can do, certainly. Like, for example, I took this away. We could have one that is same chamfer on the back as we had on chamfers are great but sometimes extrusions are better they will be cleaner um actually Versus just something like that instead of that shape. We could always have like another section built up on top. We could do layers. Layers are fine. Um, and layers. Actually, no, I could I could post in a second.
Ouch. What's the lore of the Vengeance Frigate? Is there anything interesting in there? Probably not. But we're going to have a quick look just in case. There are, in fact, two articles on the Vengeance Frigate. What? Very strange. Um, what do they say? Not a whole lot. Just talking about its abilities. Blackmailed so Tiberzon blackmailed some engineers to start production of some of those designs we picked up from the Death Star. He needed gas for hyperdrives and weapon systems. The ship is ready. Well, that doesn't say a whole lot. Designs they picked up from the Death Star. Plans were found in the Death Star's wreckage. Okay. Strange. Designed by the Galactic Empire. Hmm. It's kind of odd, seeing as it doesn't really look like an Imperial ship in any way. Stick some placeholder guns on there just so we can get that visual language in there. Um, so we're going to change things up a bit with them. We're just going to stick something really basic on. What we could do. the guns to stick out past the front hall. They're absolutely giant cannons. Hmm. I have to think about that. But for now, what we're going to do... Grab my pivot point. You're still at the bottom. That's fine. I guess. Again, this is just placeholders. Oops. 
Oops. Something vaguely like this, uh, probably end up scaling them down a bit. But that helps with our overall shape language. Okay. Um, section. We could bring it out like this. Try this out. See if we like what we get. Not convinced, but it was better than the other thing we tried. We're going to put a trench in as well. Um, let's do that. So that we have, so that we know what we're doing with that. How that's going to look and affect the rest of the ship. Do I want the trench to go all the way in, or do I want some kind of infrastructure in here? The original's got some sensors or tanks or something. If I did put infrastructure in here, what would I do? A thing that comes in. Let's put something in there real quick before I do the trench. Let's see what we get. Probably emanate from here. And we'd be a subtle thing. And these can be moved forward or back as we need as well. Okay, so now let's stick the trench in there.
Um, now, Imperial trenches have a specific look where you've got the top hall that comes down, and then there's like a little lip, a little L shape, and then the trench. Don't know if we want to get that detailed on it. We could. Let's. Put it there. And that'll end up being a separate part so it doesn't interfere. Although I don't mind the trench ending there. Need to make it separate. Now we could have a little lip there. That might look all right. Might look better. We'll see. Get rid of that. trench work back here. I don't know. It's easy enough to take in and out if we want to experiment. Do that there. All right. Copy this over and see where we're at. And if we like the direction we're going. And the idea is not to build an entirely different ship, but rather to just make a new, modernized, higher detail version of the original without going too overboard on redesigning it. So I think the original design is very solid. I don't want to drift too far away from that. But putting our own spin on it is fine. I already think the guns are too big in the original. In that they don't really fit with Star Wars convention. Most weapons in Star Wars are pretty small. Even the big 
like octuple turbo lasers and whatnot are, are fairly small compared to the ship they're on. Whereas these guns are just absolutely massive. And if we are in fact scaling up the vengeance to be a bit bigger than a frigate would be conventionally compared to a Star Destroyer, um, these guns get even bigger in that case. Ridiculously big. So I think what we're going to do is scale them down a bit. We don't want them to be too small because then they're not going to look right. So we might take the gun housings as well, the modules on the side, and play with the scale and shape of those as well. But we'll see. We'll see. We're still just figuring out our proportions and design. Let's add a few details to the core section. Kind of work on a little bit of everything at once, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, until we figure out everything we want to do. I do like the inset sections that they have. I don't like their like boxy details, but that's just a low poly model thing. We'll replace all that with fancy greebles places for windows, but we are going to do the inset that they have. And I like the um, protrusion they have on the front area. What is interesting that I notice on this original model is these boxes here are so small that you're never gonna see them, especially with their busy texture that they put on there. Um, show me this. Yeah, like, you can, you can kind of see that there's a line there where the box comes out just a little bit. But if you didn't know, if you weren't looking for it, you'll never see that that's actual geometry that sticks out, especially because it's like tucked down into the trench and it's got this really dark texture on it. And the, the lighting hitting the top of the box looks the same as some of the texture lines that they have. It's a strange decision. The model is really weird. It's not very efficiently made either. There's a lot of wasted, um, a lot of wasted uh, face space. Like, for example, all the, um, not you, but all this, including this wedge here that I can't select because it's inside these boxes. Like the majority of these faces are hidden by these boxes. So that's all wasted texture space. Space you can allocate to other details or having more detail while maintaining your texel density. It's very strange.
I have returned. It is chilly. But yes, yeah, so it's a very strange model. If in fact the concept art was what Jerome sent me earlier, which was just the 3D model of the ship, that looks like what may have happened was that just the 3D artist made a mock-up and they said, stick it in game, good enough. I'm done criticizing things. Back to ours. Ours will be much superior with mesh when we're done. But anyway, I digress. So we're gonna put our inset in. Um, I think this is fine. I may make an adjustment. We'll see how it goes. So we're gonna inset. We're gonna do, I think the same as we're doing for the trench which is 0 0.4 meters, not to scale, but a nice um, thin, thin wall. Although we might thicken it up, we'll see how it goes. And then we're gonna do an extrusion. Um, we go fairly deep, pretty deep. Okay. Then I think what we're gonna do is we're going to add in connections here. We're gonna go like this. About like that is good enough. And then we're going to take this. Actually, we're going to take these connections here and we are going to make them. sit 
right on our transition point. <coughs> Pardon me. Too much talking, not enough tea. Then we're going to extrude this, I believe, like so. And then interesting. We're going to scale. Where did my music go? That's the question. Thank you. All right. Then with that in mind, we want to take this down. Let you come back and uh, there. down something like that. It might be fun. Let's get some more shape interaction going on. more stuff to work with. Yeah. And then I'll bring you over. Boop. Okay. Okay. Uh, kind of like that. Okay. 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 Starting to come together. Starting to come together. I still think... Um, the whole guns need uh, some work with their general shape and size, but I think we're okay for the moment. We could inset as well, or make this a step in. saved in a while. few polygons, but I like the general look. We'll do something similar. I also like the, uh, like they're probably part of the sensors and communication suite. I don't know what they are exactly though. I'm not a fan of the look there, but I do like them in general, so we're going to keep that with ours. Um, then we got a big engine down at the bottom. It's a strange feature, but it's there. We'll keep it in some form.
What a weird triangulation. I get oh it's from the it's from the symmetry. That makes sense. Okay. Let's throw in a placeholder for that. Give us a capsule. And we're gonna be roughly the same shape and size and location. greater detailing. More polygons. The engine does kind of look very slapped on. We'll see if we can fix that look on our version. And we're going to go to 16 sides on ours, since our ship is going to be scaled up a bit, and we're also just having more detail in general. Gives us more to work with. We can always adjust that later if we want. But for now, we go about like so. Cap that off, uh, then we'll do a bevel about like there, coming down to about like yay, and then an extrusion to about like there, and another bevel. Okay. And then we'll stick that over on ours and make adjustments and detailing later. But we'll just get it in there for now for shape and proportions. Definitely needs some stuff to help with its transition because it really does look like it's just stuck in there, stuck on there. Yeah. All right. Um, I think I think let's put on some of these antennas. That'll help um, finish our proportions in terms of height. So antenna-wise. We're going to do something pretty similar to what they have. Uh, we will have six sides, though, instead of their five. We don't need much more than that, though. Give me a cylinder. And then, again, we're going to increase the detailing. So instead of just sort of slapped on there, as they very much are. We're gonna have infrastructure to emanate them out of. Ah, camera please. Okay. Six sides. Should be enough for now. Let's get rid of some of the groups all together for a moment. <clears throat> and then I think what we're going to do is rotate 30 degrees. That way we have parallel planes or parallel edges. That'll help us. Inset. I need something to drink. What up? Hey, welcome. Greetings. I think we 
inset slightly more. Like there. Extrude that out. And we'll bring it up to about the same height. Please. Okay. Then we will give it a connection. This is fine. We'll also bring that up to about the same height. Then we'll grab that and we'll extrude that. Say one fifteen. Okay. We'll add in the infrastructure for this. Just gonna lurk while you do some modeling. I also like the color you choose for the default models. Um, it's the, it's just the the default. Um, well, not default, but it's the clay. It's a a standard setting in 3ds Max. Um, there's a few, but they're all really weird. Clay is kind of the most normal one. It's just easy on the eyes. You know, red is a diffuse color or red diffuses light. Um, so it's a very easy on the eyes color to have and uh, and it shades nicely. But uh, yeah, I like I like working it. Sometimes I'll, I'll work in something else. Um, there isn't really too much special about it. Like I can just make everything kind of a nice tan gray color if I want, but I don't know. Red's easy on the eyes. I'm just used to working in it as well. Although sometimes I change it up. It also changes like the gradient. So um, in this, the gradient is dark to light, I think. And then on here, it flips it. This to be separate from the hall just ever so slightly like so okay then um, you know, we can really make this a little bit thinner so bring it down like that. This is all uh I'll just kind of placeholdery. I mean it's intended to be placeholdery and whether we keep it or not or change it, we'll decide later. Um, we'll probably add a little something here on this just to have us have a cluster of detail for the eye to look at. Artsy fartsy stuff. And we'll do a little extrusion here. And uh, I think we will scale that in like that. Just so the antennas are actually connected to the ship in a reasonable fashion. Oops. Boop. And it'll all get cleaned up and aligned later. OK. 
Chaos Bubbles, welcome. Been a long time since you've last seen the Dutchman's Revengeance. Yeah, he was showing it to me earlier when we were discussing um, remodeling the the Vengeance, and uh, I think he was of the added the the idea of it, it'll never see the light of day again. But I think it's a very solid start. I'll probably rebuild it from the ground up, like I'm doing with the Vengeance. Um, plus, like triangulated meshes are a bitch and a half to work with um, when you're still designing things. But I like the direction he was going with it. So I think we're going to take it and run with it and build it out. And it's going to be a pretty big ship. So roughly in terms of scale, this is what we're looking at compared to a Star Destroyer. So going to be a pretty spicy ship. Thank you for the gifted sub. I appreciate it. Helps out a lot. And uh, thank you for the follow as well. But yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna run with it and detail it out and finish it off, add some stuff with it. It's really, it really looks like he had kind of the basic shape and then some of the trench details worked out. But we're gonna we're gonna finish it off. As I said, we'll probably rebuild it from the ground up, but it'll be very similar. A big, beefy siege platform would be very nice. But right now, yeah, we're uh, we're rebuilding the uh, the Vengeance frigate, the original one. I don't want to stray too far from the original idea. I want to keep it recognizable as the original design. Just kind of update it, modernize it a bit, increase the detail. Um, put a few modern art practices into play with uh, the detail read and rest space for the eyes and whatnot, and uh, hopefully we'll have a pretty neat little ship by the time we're done. That's the idea. You're basically frozen very cold. Well, put on uh, a jacket or a sweater or a blanket or turn on the heat or do some exercise. That's the nice thing about the cold, is there's ways to deal with it. The heat, there's only so far you can go. I, I dislike the heat of the summers. I'm a cold weather person. And there you were, thinking, finally be a day when I wake up in time for the doctor's appointment. Oh, doctors. Yeah. Let me answer our friend's question here real quick. Okay, uh, what else do we want to do? Let's throw in the antennas in the back as well while we're at it. It doesn't look like there's anything particularly special about them. They just stuck it on there and then they stuck that one on without its base. Strange, but there we have it. So we'll grab one of these. And we may very well just do our own thing. Uh, the asymmetrical look is kind of nice. A 
but we'll make some adjustments here and I think we'll stick with symmetry for the time being and if we feel it needs it we can we can go asymmetrical because that adds some complications down the line minor ones but still we will have asymmetrical parts and the antennas will fall into that camera please Okay, and then we have some antennas on the bottom. Nothing special, just antennas sticking out of the bottom in no particular rhyme or reason. We'll add a bunch of infrastructure down here when we get to the bottom. We could add a little something now, though. I could have carried the inset down and through. That might be nice. Hmm. To think about that as an option for something we can do if we feel that we need a little more visual interest on the bottom. We'll see how our detail read, our visual read gets towards the end and if we need something down here, because that'll add more detail. We can even pull the hall up a bit and have these side panels uh, stick down beyond that. And that'll give us a like shadowy recess we can put some stuff in. This is the soundtrack from Homeworld. Fantastic game. Actually, I think this is Homeworld 2. Do recommend. They are currently making Homeworld 3 on Fig. Very excited. All right, we might end up um, removing, yeah, let's get rid of these. something to help with the transition, but we'll get rid of that for the time being. Just so it doesn't overpower and distract. Okay. So that's what we're looking at for our height profile. Okay, okay. Let's address the weapons and the weapon modules. So I'm not quite happy with them. 
I think they are too large because they're absolutely ridiculous. They're I mean, look at the size of these things compared to Star Destroyer. I mean, th they're the barrels alone are longer than a CR90 at this scale. And we do want we are making the Vengeance frigate a larger ship in order to help fill the hut or the underworld roster as it lacks big ships with stain power. So but yeah, having having cannons this size just a little too much, I think. So we are, and ours are sort of like even bigger, which isn't really intended. So we're gonna play around with scaling things down. Um, the weapon pods themselves, even though they are essentially This, they're the same width, but they look bigger because of the way they're made. They have that smaller chamfer, and they don't taper back. So they come off as very large. So I think what we're going to do... I think we're going to make them narrower. Ever so slightly, maybe 10%. 15%. I don't know why. Why did my steam shit the bed? Like, it works fine all day long. And the moment someone messages me and I talk to them, I have a conversation in steam, it shits the bed and disconnects. Let's try that again. So to make these narrower, let's just go for it and see where we end up. These were just kind of placeholders anyway. So make it a bit narrower. Okay. Move all this stuff, which are also just placeholders. Then we have a cutout. We need to remove material. Stubbier A10 cannon look for the guns themselves. Um, so the original guns, right, um, are kind of the the Gatling cannon minigun kind of look, and I think. Jerome and I decided more or less that we're not we don't really need them to spin. Spinning doesn't really make a lot of sense anyway. Um, so probably what will happen is um, we'll just rotate the, the particle effect around each barrel, but the barrels themselves won't spin. Which is fine, they don't they don't need to. Um, and that's extra work to do as well. And time is limited. Let's reduce the length as well. We can also taper them down a little bit, which will help slightly. push them in a little bit, and then we can make the, the barrels a little thinner as well themselves. Uh-huh. Can't connect to my account.
Let's see, what does the A10 look like? It's basically just a big minigun. What is it, a 30 millimeter cannon? Something like that. And it's just stubby, so it just sort of like sticks out just a little bit. We could try something like that. Um, where our, our barrels just stick out like so. Of course, we'd have like infrastructure and stuff in there to transition nicely. I'm not sure if that the guns sticking so far out is integral to the look of the ship or not. I need one of those silhouette viewers. Maybe. Just not super sure yet. We might just end up making two versions or just working on, uh, on this and then seeing what looks attractive with our barrels. In the end, it doesn't really matter what we do, but it just feels wrong having them so big. Now, there are other versions that people have made of the ship that do have shorter, smaller guns. I mean, we could shrink the entire weapon module down as well. If we wanted to. And then make a few adjustments to the hull. But let's um, let's try to make some cuts. And play with our shape a bit before we do anything too drastic. So first of all, let's see what happens if we reduce the back end a bit. Step it in. And then um, did that do something weird to my things? Maybe. Take this stuff and shrink it down a bit. These don't need to be particularly large. I don't want them to be distracting. Especially if they're going to be like a bright, brassy, bronzy, metallic bright with dirt and stains all over them. Okay. Helps break things up a little bit. Let's take this, do a little bit of a shrink down. Then 
let us So, okay, and then we're going to reduce our overall length just a little bit. perfectly aligned later. Okay. Now, do we want to make any kind of cut in here? Let's experiment. A lot of this is just sort of figuring things out as we go. So if we did a cut, um, let's make a copy of this real quick. look I don't know yet go here now that it's relevant we'll take our trench piece which is here and uh, move you way up to like here here an inset of four meters then we will do an extrusion I like the layer but I think we'll bring it in that way we can have our guns recessed a little bit.
will have modules for the barrels to stick in that are connected in to there. However those will look, I'm not sure yet. Let's grab something like this. Something vaguely like that. We'll go back in, make adjustments as we needed. We might completely change the direction we're going. We'll see. This is all still experimental design work. That we may end up keeping or not. of our unfinished version. Not that this one's finished. More finished. All right, does that look better? Looks a little less bulky, a little smaller, a little narrower. Guns aren't quite as long, but they still stick out. I think it's is better. The guns are smaller, I think, than the originals now. At least in terms of the barrels. Not as tall. But we're a little longer. We could make them taller. Maybe, if we wanted. Might experiment with it, but for now, I think I think we're good for the moment, for the time being. Okay, let's do a save real quick. Check my messages and stuff.
Okay, let's work on the back tail pieces. So on the original, they're just sort of thin, kind of triangular shapes. Or very angular. Come down to a pretty significant, pretty sharp point. And they taper up, which is kind of a nice look. Don't care much about the taper down. Ours are start thin and are pretty thick at the end. Now we could not convinced. Um, we could do something like that ish chamfer there maybe kind of similar do I want to run a trench along here like we've done with the front carry that along hmm first let's reattach that Over here. Okay. So, do I want to run a trench? Hmm. I don't think so, but let's throw one in to see how it looks because it's quick and easy. inset of 0 0.04 meters and an extrude of roughly like that. I could do a trench on one side. Not convinced. I just need some work. Pulling this out, pulling this up. That helps a bit. Still not convinced though. What about if we took these? them back and then took this entire thing brought it out just a bit farther Put our inset into the rear of the ship. Um, it's just going to be the entire thing, which is fine. There isn't really any reason for this transition not to, for this these vertices not to just be the same. So what we're going to do is bring you up. Together. Stop it. Behave, thank you. Uh, 
helped by the fact that the front is flat. Well, that. Inset of 0.4 meters, and then an extrusion in, and um, hmm. I'm going to reset the X one real quick. grab a stack and go to the restroom. I will be right back.
dinner buzzing. Bussin. Too good, huh? Okay. Okay. All right, next, I think we want to add a transition layer. Something a little bit like this, but what we're gonna do is connect this and this. This is fine. This is fine. And then we're gonna extrude. Maybe four. Yeah, 
four. This is good. And then uh, we're going to. Oop. And we're going to go up like that. Although, why did you not extrude? What the fuck? Oh. You did. It's just that. Okay. Fine. Can you see how it is? Maybe we can continue this down if we want. I think we will at some point. Alright, just gives us a little more. Um, what do we want to do on the inside of our trench here? It's a question. I don't know the answer to yet. We're going to add some more detailing in there, but not sure exactly what yet, so we'll come back to it.
We're getting there. something like that we'll make we might just make a new one entirely we'll see Same as that. Let's take this. Go here. But ah, should show up. Then we might still make some adjustments. But what do other people do? Oops. Basically the same thing, slightly different. We'll make a new one entirely for the bigger ship. Okay, and then you are actually at that height, but we're going to give you a 15 degree rotation. That one's like 14 point something or 16 point something. It's not quite perfect. something in which to give you as a transition into the hall. Hello, hello, hey, welcome.
So, what we can do... We may pull this out a little bit. And then shorten our pylon length down at the bottom. Let's, let's rotate. Get in a little closer to the action. All right. How would a chamfer look on here? Perhaps it needs to be pulled up far enough that it makes a parallel 90 degree. And this can be brought up. Then um, I might put a little thing on top, maybe. And by little thing, I mean just a little extruded detail, like so. Although that's kind of lazy. So maybe we'll make a modification to it. Maybe we'll take it. Up and then up like that. That's fine. Okay. So then we're going to take our piece here, rotate back 15 degrees, and then bring up our pylon strut, whatever, like so. 15 degrees. It's changed a little bit of stuff, but put this side back in there. Yeah, okay. What's this uh, new ship? Um, it's a redesign, remake of the Vengeance class frigate from. The Forces of Corruption expansion for Empire at War. The original ship, the original game model, uh, looks like this. And in game, it looks like this. But it's pretty old and outdated. It's the model's from 2002 or something like that, the expansion is. So we are making a new, modern, fancied up higher polygon, more detailed version, and we're also adjusting some stuff like the scale of the ship relative to other things for the uh, remake mod um, for Star Wars Empire at War. Yes. 
So that's what we're doing now. We're we're making good progress. We've been working on it um, for about two and a half hours at this point. Um, but we're starting to come together. We're still experimenting with some shapes. There's a few little areas that are problem areas that I need to figure out. But I think we're getting there uh, slowly but surely with our version, which we're rebuilding from the ground up. Everything is freshly modeled. So we have a nice clean mesh to work with. I wanted to keep the, the general look and feel of the ship, the silhouette, pretty similar to the original, um, but giving it our own flair and design language. Gold lights. Uh, let's see. The closest I can do the gold is probably either that or that. So one is more orangey and one is more yellow. How does it look? This is probably the more golden of the tones. More of a white gold. The orangey one? All right. More of a uh, more of a, a warm gold. Okay, um, what else are we doing? We're doing a lot of things still. Need to detail the interiors of these inset areas on the main superstructure tower. We need to detail the trench to some degree. Could use some stuff in there. I'll put the tanks in there that are there. I don't know what these are. I think these were their turrets. Um, still need to work on the weapons emplacements. Still some stuff to do. I need engines in the back as well. Yeah. But we're getting there slowly but surely. A couple more hours, I think. And then eventually, when we're done with this, we'll first uh, clean it up and UV map it and texture it. Then, probably not tomorrow, but the day after, because I'll finish the mesh, this mesh today. And then we'll do the whole UV mapping and texturing process tomorrow provided nothing comes up and I stream like usual. And then we'll move on and do the bigger version of the ship, which is this one. So yeah, and that might take a day or two to finish the mesh and then a day or two to texture. We'll see how it goes. It's a pretty big ship. How are you today, sir? All right, let's experiment with adding in those tanks or whatever they are. Or something similar. I like them, so we'll, we'll put them in. this. Actually, what I can do is I can just take the height way down. Oop. <laughs> and 
and the radius on this one will be like 50%. Ah! 50%. Maybe a little less, maybe maybe a little more, excuse me, like 7.5. A little more room. In fact, I want you to be like that. We'll go in and clean all that up later. Just a bit farther. Okay. Then we can get some like pipes and stuff up in there, and that might be cool. <clears throat> okay, what kind of detailing do we want in there? this kind of thing, which is okay. So the texture in the original OG version, we have some sort of vertical bias where all the lines are going vertical and the lines of windows are going vertical as well. I kind of like that. It's unusual because usually you just see horizontal stuff all the time. So we might try to play off of that. Now, in the original version, we've got stuff that sticks out. Not sure I like that. And do we want a hangar bay on this? Not necessarily to give it squadrons it can deploy, but as a big ship should have some kind of hangar bay for shuttles and things to come and go from. Stick the engines on the back real quick. So, now the original original engines are just smaller versions of the engine they have on the bottom, which is fine, I guess. But I think we're gonna change it up a bit. But we'll we'll stick a placeholder on there for now. They're pretty small. Let's try scaling down by 50% and see if that's what they did. That appears to be pretty close to what they did. Their engines are aligned. Okay. So we'll grab another one, put a little space in between. And then they start roughly. So their engines are hidden like between the two. It's fine. We'll just put ours like so. It's roughly in the middle. We're gonna add little pipes and things as well at some point. Little greebles.
while we're at it, let's just grab this. I need to make caffeinated beverage at some point here. Didn't get the greatest of sleep last night. So a little bit a little bit tired. A little bit draggy, I should say. Not necessarily tired. Or fading. But we're getting there, we're getting there. We're like 80%. Give or take 10 depending on when we step back and look at our final versions, if we want to make any drastic changes or not. Okay, I need I need uh, to make something caffeinated. I will be right back. I think I will make a chai latte because I can't.
Yes, I have returned. You're working on another ship as well? Very good. What kind of ship are you making today? Chai tea latte. I I went downstairs to make chai tea. I drank a little bit of water, and uh, then I returned with seaweed snacks and no chai tea. So you win some, you lose some. You need to adjust your ship soon. Soon it'll be time. Although don't redeem immediately because I'm going to be spending uh, a lot of time in the next few days or the next couple of weeks working on remake stuff because the uh, next big update is coming soon. Um... And so I will be probably investing a lot of time into making stuff for that or working on that in some degree or another because uh, I need to do this and I need to do the big hut ship, the last big hut capital ship, and then I need to do this big thing. Um, and uh, I might do some iconography stuff. We'll see. And that's like priority, priority at the moment, since the release is coming up. But as soon as I'm done with that, as soon as the release comes out, fair game.
Six months, huh? Hmm. It's basically six months since I started streaming, more or less. And you followed me pretty... Pretty soon after I started. You need time to make things to help me model. Alright, now how industrial do we want to make this? It's a pretty industrial kind of ship. Hmm. I may even add another layer down here. Yeah, let's let's add another layer. Layers and layers. Build this girl up. Why don't you connect? Why don't you connect? And what was I going to do? I was going to do down, okay, and then like right, okay. So why don't you connect? Is it because this edge isn't connected to this polygon. Be kind of a strange reason why. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get rid of this polygon. We don't really need it. I think. I think. Actually, you know what I could do? Oh, no, wait. No, we're, we're, we were on the right path. We were on the wrong path. Take this and this. Go to there. Like that. Now we'll take this. Wow, all kinds of stuff. Really going all out on that. Are you gonna write out like lore and stuff for it too?
life is probably fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Some extra layers in there. It's all good. working on these or well, getting the primary shapes down so I'm not sure if I want to do like an inset down in here in a bit more. Cancel that weld. Then take it in a bit more. Then take, take these guys. Scale it down a bit like so. fix the cancer. That's okay. We have the power to fix these things.
3DS is doing that thing where I can't select stuff. We have to relaunch it. So while that's happening, I will go make my chai latte. We return. Back to fixing cancers. Ah, 
that's this one, I think. all on the bottom side as well. Not a huge deal. this is flipped for some reason who knows okay yeah that's that's fine we'll just keep that then we have to fix the problem down here which um, There might be a way to... No, I don't think so. I don't think so. That's not what I want. This is what I want. Now, let's take this and move it down a bit, and take this and move it up a bit, and decide if we like that whole look anyway. What I should do, one moment, I need to go here, and I need to go here, and I need to copy this, and I need to say, for anyone who's in here lurking around and doesn't know what we're working on, we're working on a model for the Star Wars Empire mod, Star Wars Empire War remake which is a fantastic mod that's been around for many years I've been good friends with Geronimo uh, the original mod creator for over a decade now I think I knew him from before remake and from before Old Republic at War back when we both worked on Usenbong um, he's a great guy and here is a link to the mod on ModDB. There's also a Discord somewhere. Uh, I don't have a link to that at the moment. Um, but do check it out if you play Empire at War. Um, one of the top mods. It's, it's a big, massive overhaul. Um, and uh, a new version is being worked on by the mod team. Big big huge update massive update and uh, it's nearing release which is why we're working on ships for it right now the effort of many talented mod developers I think I think the release date is planned in three or four weeks for the next big version worth the wait worth checking out Don't you shake your fingers at me. I'll shake my fingers wherever I want to shake. You'll be lurking to stream? Well, good luck on your stream, sir. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. Let's... 
this, this. These will all get cleaned up and beautified later for UV mapping and texturing. Which I'll try to do tomorrow if I'm not busy. Today you installed a pair of 100-year-old Italian imported urns that are five feet tall. I bet they're heavy as fuck. Were they um, ceramic or clay or like bronze? You had to build a scaffold grain to install them? Marble. Jesus. Marble is not light stuff. Okay, now let's think about, do we want any trench details? The Star Destroyer has trench details, I believe. This is just a collision mess, I think. So it's pretty low detail. Yeah, I think we need trench details. This is a pretty big ship. We've made it into a pretty big ship. I need to copy this stuff down. Actually. Excuse me, there's my camera. We may end up changing the, the look of the engines. Actually, we will to a degree. Um, these are pseudo placeholders. Moment. Still not sure exactly what I'm gonna do in here. I want some depth, some more depth, and then some raised areas. But I'm still not sure. Maybe I just need to start going for it. Uh, let's make a copy before we start doing lots of things that are irritating to undo. Well, my last seaweed snack. Teriyaki flavor. Most enjoyable. This, in fact. Pretty good, pretty good. Do recommend. Well salted, not too salty. Well sweetened, not too sweet. Very crispy.
So what we're going to do is we're going to put in a deeper inset recess into here. I think that's what we're going to do. And that'll contrast nicely, in theory, with our raised area. So we'll go from this raised section out in front, deeper, deeper down in. Yeah. That is the plan. just posted what you did in the Discord. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look at this artscapes. Oh my. I'd be so paranoid about damaging these in any way. Is that a tomb for a family pet? Just entryway statues, okay. Oh, I see. What a big fancy house, damn. Okay, you're lifting them up off the truck and putting them... I, I see, it makes sense, makes sense. Quite the job. Oh yeah, starting to refine that down. Nice. It's a very retro shape. retro shape okay so we've got a bit of an inset there some depth that we can play with then I want to have some raised stuff to contrast with that even more so we'll grab one of these. We're just seeing where the shapes take us. Doing a little Bob Ross. Just going with the flow. This shape lives here. It's got some friends shapes. They live nearby. Thing like this. Can't get nothing fancy. And um, we need to change the size of this a little bit, I think. Maybe we'll go up a bit. And then in, I think, yes.
couldn't resist that one? Oh, I know, I know. And then, because we're all into the layers these days, we've, we've leveled up into the land of layers. They're cheap, and they add a lot. big ship we can get away with some smaller details smaller in terms of noticeability and uh, now let's let's copy these over and see what we look like when we are mirrored okay is fine this is fine and then we can add in some other little greebles in there we don't want to do a whole lot of greebling in here i think because we want like lights um and this is the good place for lights up in this recess and down in this one which we're going to do similar detailing to um and less lights in terms of like on the sides of the ship so like lights in the trenches lights in the vertical trenches no lights on the guns, except maybe like red lights or like, like light bulb lights, but no windows is what I mean by lights. Windows in the trenches and the vertical, vertical pieces. Words are difficult. If you're uh, new here or lurking around, um, welcome. I stream 3D modeling, mostly starships, mostly Star Wars, sometimes other things like Star Trek or Babylon 5, well, Babylon 5 in the near future, um, Farscape, etc. Most weekdays, starting around 1 p.m. PST, on a schedule like a real job. And, uh, I do mostly uh, design modeling. I kind of like what you're seeing now, but um, I do optimize and UV map and texture models from time to time as well, when I feel like investing that much time into one individual ship. So if you're interested in that kind of thing and seeing more of this sort of stuff and an ever evolving project where um, all the ships are built to like work in the same universe, um, go ahead and drop a follow and uh, catch me in future streams. You can also check out my DeviantArt or my YouTube where I post VODs, which this will become in the near future. Okay. Let's think about what we want to do with the trench detailing. I'm not sure exactly what we want to do. Maybe we're going to add some pipes. Oh, yep, yeah, see, thank you for the follow. You know what to do. What is that emote? An OS frog. Very cool. Do approve. Let's build some pipes that we can then put places. 
professional 3D modeling talk right there. So we're going to go like that. And then we're going to go back to here and we're going to connect these there with an edge and then we're going to hinge from edge and we're going to say give me a 90 degree at four four segments nice we're gonna make a copy of this real quick and then we're gonna do like a 30 degree So, and hinge from edge again, same edge, but we're gonna do, I think actually 45, yes. And two is fine. Get rid of these. Extrude from there. and extrude from here. Very nice. Then we're gonna make another one of these, but instead of bending on the flat side here, we're going to bend on the angled side. So we need to rotate that around. like that. That is a slightly different process. Go here, click element, and we'll select these edges instead of the vertices, connect those. Go back here, hinge from edge again, pick a new edge, that edge, perfect. We don't really need to worry about the 45 though. At the moment. If we need That way we can change our directions instead of just going in loops. Cool, okay. Always useful to have pipes ready to go. You never know when you feel the need to stick one on. And speaking of which, let's experiment a bit. Uh, we need much, much less scale on these though. So let's, actually let's copy all of these here. And let's go down by 50% and see where that puts us close. Let's go down by 50%, better. It's a big ship, we don't want our pipes to be too massive. Six-sided pipes work well. With smoothing groups applied, they're usually small enough that they look round even though it is, in fact, a hexagon. Actually, we might need to scale this down just a bit more. Yeah, I think so. I think, I think a little more scale. Let's go down by 25%. We're, we're pretty close. Yeah, that works a little bit better. Okay, now let's decide what we want to do as far as our trench greebling. I think we're going to do some sort of industrial stuff on the inside here. 
on the inner inside and then convert to like windows and crew infrastructure on the farther exterior. Farther exterior. Professional description words brought to you by me. You can use them in your everyday lingo. Impress your friends, neighbors, and bosses with the words of the trade. This piece will do like a thing. I, I know what I want to do in here. Um, we might adjust the pipe and where it's at. I think I know what I want to do in here. We'll see if it works. So I don't want to screw with my shape language too much. But the detail might work. We'll find out. We'll just stick it in there. We can always put it on another area of the ship if we don't like how it vibes with the rest of the shapes in this region.
He's still not convinced about this detail down in here. We'll see, I suppose. See how it looks mirrored over. It's fine. it's fine. Might need something in here though to help balance out this. But not necessarily. Getting there. Do we want to pay homage to the weapon emplacements that they had on the on uh, the OG version? Let's let's see. Let's see what we can do. Go back to 16 sides. 16 is a good one because it's a symmetrical. Um, symmetrical circle where at your cardinal north south east west points you have a vertice whereas for instance if you were at 14 sides you've got a vertice at east west but you have a edge at north south depending on your orientation but that can um, make it kind of difficult to make certain shapes look right and interact correctly. This way, we're symmetrical. I think that looks nice. It's a couple extra polygons, but I think it's worthwhile. Okay, um, let's... 
do this, and then let's scale this thing way down. We're gonna go radius two. This is basically a, a turret. Um, um, I'm an idiot. Uh, not a casemate. It's the turret ring that, that turrets on warships sit on. It's a word I've read a hundred times. brains. Don't let them degrade on you. Barbet. Barbet. That's what it is. It's a turret barbet. Alright, what we want to do Connection there, that's fine. We'll bring it up to about like so. And then we might need to increase our our sides. We'll see. No, we're divisible by four in a convenient way. That's good. That's good. Um, we'll do another connection. That's also fine. And then uh, we will extrude. Ever so slightly. Why reset the X1 again? Always. Hmm. I wonder why it's doing that. It's easy enough to fix, it's just annoying. It's pulling in hmm. very unusual. That's fine though. As I said, an easy if not annoying fix of just doing this and doing that and doing that. And do that. And this. And this. Very good. Okay. Um, I don't know if we actually want to stick a gun turret on here. Let me ask Jeremy if we want some gun turrets on here or not. Of which, oh, 1080p. Okay, this is fine. What's my bit rate I'm going at? Um, 5,000 should be okay. Okay. Um, once I await a response, which I may or may not get tonight on whether or not we want physical turrets on here or not. So we'll leave that open and then we may very well adjust the scaling on them. I'm not sure if we have turrets that are a good size or not to put on there, but 
We'll stick with this for the time being. Um, yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there. When I said we were at 80%, I probably meant we are at 75 Back a while ago. All right, what do we have left to do? Uh, we need to finish the gun. Zzz, gun module and the, the cannon barrels themselves. We need to detail the trench, although I don't want to go overboard. I put some stuff in there. Then we need to detail in here. We need to fancy up the engine. And like finish it. Decide if we want to keep this style of engine or build something new. Um, we need to figure out what we're going to do with detailing these back pylons, back hull segments. Finish these engines as well. Detail all that. Decide what we're going to do with this. I do think we're going to bring our inset through, though. So let's just do that right now while we're down here. Then, what we do is we take this stuff here, and we, uh, oh god, we go delete, delete, and delete, and delete. Yes. Actually, we could leave it angled. Might be interesting. Let's, let's have a look at what that looks like. whether or not we need to make a big change there or not. No, actually, I kind of like that look. I don't like that. Okay. But we still have to deal with the antennae. Because we, we do want antennas down here. Do we want them to emanate from up inside? Um... Or do we want them to come off the sides, like the antennas on the rest of the superstructure up north? That's a question. That is a question, that is the question. Probably fine for now. And then we can take this, shrink it down a bit, and then just like that. Just so we have something up in there. That's fine, it's fine. 
might bring up that inset just a little bit higher, like up to here maybe. I'm not super sure yet. But I do think we're going to work on the transition down here a little bit, where the engine module connects or goes through our hall. It's super convenient that this is a flat surface. Do something a bit like this, then give us a couple of connection points here, and by that I mean four. And then do something like that. Okay, okay, okay. And then we'll do another layer down. It's going to be time for me to go make dinner in uh, soon. Here in a few minutes. I don't think we're going to quite get our mesh completely done today, which is fine. We'll finish it tomorrow and begin the texturing process. Very exciting. The texturing is really when something comes to life. But I gotta do a lot of optimizing on this model first before we do any texturing. But I don't think it will be too bad. Some models are super, super big pain to optimize, but I think this one will be pretty okay to do. Pretty straightforward. Just the way we're building it. Should be all right. Now tell me why this is that way. This not. It's not centering it. I need to reset the X ones on these. That's weird. I don't know why it's uh, not centering. center either. Why not? Huh. Very peculiar. Looks like it's 
pretty well centered. I think it has to move over a little bit. Hmm. Problem for me to figure out. Why? Make this the same length here. Okay. And then I center it. Yeah, it wants to uh, move. Hmm. Very sus. And it gets worse as it goes down. I bet I know why. No, it's been mirrored. That shouldn't be the problem. It might be. It's not a big deal. We just have to make a little adjustment here and there. But I think we're going to wrap it up for today. We made good progress. We're almost there. We're like 10%. 15% away from uh, being done with the model design. So tomorrow what we're going to do is detail the rest of this trench interior here. And give me my camera back, please. Thank you. Detail the rest of the trench interior. Finish the engine, which needs a lot of work. Um, detail the interior of this trench. Uh, work on what we're going to do for detailing in these trenches, if any. As well as these. Add any final minor adjustments we want to make. What the fuck is going off my render? Weird. And um, something to do with orthographic view. Finish our weapon modules on the side here. And then I think we'll be ready to optimize and texture. So maybe we'll get done tomorrow. Maybe we'll get most of the way there. We'll see. Definitely get done with the mesh tomorrow. And we'll end up somewhere along the way in the texturing process. But yeah, good work. Good work so far. Let's save this up real quick. You think you're pretty close to being done with yours? Oh, very good. I'll take a look here in a minute. But uh, for the time being, we're going to we're going to look for somebody to raid here. See who's doing what. What's this? Oh, primal, yes. Alright, let's have a look and see if there are any interesting 3D modelers online. Doing anything fancy. Um, so I'll look for that. So once we're done with the regular light Vengeance Frigate, or whatever we're going to call it. Probably just the Vengeance Frigate, although it's going to be pretty big. Like a light cruiser. Um, when we're done with that, then we will either do the next Big Hut capital ship, the last one, in line to do, which is a pretty big, fancy ship. Um, or we will start on the Revengeance, which is like an upscaled 
upscale. It's another ship based on the Vengeance, um, perhaps made by the same manufacturer, or designed by the same designer. It looks a bit different, but it's it's a much much larger ship, which is being used as a heavy siege platform for the um, underworld, who are lacking big heavy ships. Is there anybody doing any interesting? Hardworks. Anything Star Wars, perhaps, since that's what we're working on ourselves. And I apologize for the background noise. We're still holed up in the bedroom. So you're hearing the master bath going, 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 going. One day I will have an office in which to stream in. And I can be as loud as I want and I can stream as long as I want into the evening. It'll, it'll be wonderful. Yes. Well, I'm not seeing... Anybody doing anything particularly interesting in the in the arts category that we don't know? Mostly the usual cartoony characters in anime and furries. That seems to be the thing that people are interested in. Which is fine. It's just there's an abundance of it. Not a whole lot of anything else. Occasional stuff here and there, but. I don't see any more miniature painters, unfortunately. I always like getting to know them. They're usually pretty cool folks. on some Star Wars stuff at least. That's nice. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to raid Kosh Art. He's working on some Star Wars stuff, so it's appropriate category, appropriate genre. He's a pretty talented artist. Um, I've hung out in his stream a few times before. Pretty cool stuff. Right now he's working on like a Boba Fett. Uh, looks like pen and ink. Very neat. He's got some uh, sand people as well and a Bosk. You don't see Bosk every day. Yeah, so we'll prepare our raid up for him. So thank you everybody who stopped by today. Um, for the chit chats, the follows, the subscriptions, the gifted subscriptions. Um, I do appreciate it. And if you're new here, I do the 3D modeling most weekdays. Um, like this, and sometimes I texture stuff. It takes a lot longer, so I don't do it all the time compared to the fun design work of um, 3D modeling. But um, be sure and check out my DeviantArt and my YouTube, which are linked somewhere. And they're also linked in the chat, just up the ways a little bit. Uh, drop me a follow if you're interested in catching more 3D modeling. As I said, we try to do it every weekday. And uh, we'll be back to continue the Vengeance and then on to the Revengeance class tomorrow and through the rest of the week. 
And uh, yeah, have a fantastic rest of your Tuesday evening, and hope we will catch you in the future. Off we go. I've done this, I've done this, I've never merged the two, so now I'm merging the two. But I gotta do it in a way that I don't lose all that whatever. So it's pretty much not so much coloring it, but hinting at the colors a little more maybe. I think that makes sense. Uh for part of, yeah, it's a fantastic mod built by my good friend Jerome over the last eight or so years. Weesh. I can drop a Mod B link is so interesting. Love the textures on, and he says, I uh, love the textures on Boba. Yeah, if you wouldn't mind, uh, go ahead and uh, put up a link there. Yeah. We'd like to, I'd like to learn more. I mean, I'd heard of